Hello, I am here to show you how to assemble this big product. And firstly, let's have a quick look at the packaging. So here we have the high-end flight case. This comes with cast wheels and it's a sturdy construction. We also have the standard cardboard honeycomb packaging. Now, this product is the 360 Photo Booth. It offers an awesome user experience. But first, let's crack this open and see what's inside. Okay, for this next step, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, but very important that you only cut the white cable ties. There is one or two black cable ties, they're labeled, and whatever you do, do not cut these. These are essential for the construction of the product. Okay, so now we have all the packaging removed, let's have a look at what's inside. So here we have the LED ring light. We have two bags of assorted accessories, a telescopic selfie pole, and all the components you need to assemble this product. So let's move on to the next step and put this together. Okay, so we're just putting the caster wheels onto the trolley here. So we have four wheels. So we take our bolt and we need to put the washer onto the bolt. And then just think, use your fingers just to screw these in lightly. And then with the supplied Allen key, you can then tighten the bolt into place. So in total there are 16 screws to do here and just the four wheels. Once you have that nice and tight, Okay, next we need to install the non-scratching feet. So we have 10 of these in total. We have eight around the edge. And you can just screw those in tight with your hands. And then we have two along the central column. They also have adjustable nuts here, so you can adjust the height and get the, um, get the floor level. Okay, next step is the LED light strip. So first we'll have a quick look at the remote control here. Here you have your color options and your settings. Next part, you take the LED light strip and it's very important to look for this sticker here. This is the start and end point of assembling your light strip. Once we open it, yeah, we'll just unravel it and you'll see this is self-adhesive. So you'll need to remove this blue film from the back we get to position. We start from this point and carefully bring the strip around. Next we're going to install the angle adjustment arm. So here you just need to look on the underside for these two prongs and this just slots in nicely into there and we just tighten up with these little thumb screws here. Okay, so now we have our arm installed, we're next going to install our telescopic pole. So this one, can extend right out and fold back in nicely and has a standard camera mounting screw on the top. Out. And it goes quite big. <laughs> so all this is just shy of about two meters tall. So 
so now we've um, installed our telescopic pole, we can extend this to any height we need. So we can get some nice aerial shots of our subject on the V-bed. Goodness me, this goes up to about two and a half meters. And it very easily collapsed in once again by just loosening the screws. <laughs> okay, so our next accessory is the ball mount. Now this can just screw onto the telescopic pole. And then using the side knob here, we can then loosen it and adjust to any angle we need for our camera or lighting. Okay, and our next accessory here is the LED ring light. We're gonna install it on top of the ball mount here as well. Maybe we'll do this one again. So once that's in place, we have our controls here and a USB connection. Okay, we're gonna continue building our setup with the smartphone holder here. This is a spring-loaded connector. And we have a screw just in the center of the ring light. We can attach this into place and it will just bend to the position that we want. And we can put a, stop, a smartphone here in landscape or into portrait. For those of you where one filming position isn't enough, we can attach additional clamps onto this telescopic pole in any position we like. We'll go top to bottom through what we have here already. So the first one here is an additional smartphone clamp. Moving down, we have a larger clamp that can be used for a tablet or for a large smartphone. We'll come down to the final clamp here, which is a dual purpose clamp. We can again attach a small tablet or a smartphone in portrait, and we have a clamp on the back which can be used for a power bank, which is very useful to power the LED ring light. Okay, so the assembly is done, and let's have a look at how to power this. So the important thing is we have two of these DC adapters, and it's very important to look at the power rating on them, because we have one for 12 volts and one for 24. The 12 volt here is marked just at the end of the paragraph, and this is for the LED light strip. We'll just connect that to the white wire here. And then the next one, the larger adapter, again, double check your rating, this is 24 volts. And this one is for the main motor, which can be located just under where the LED strip lights connect at the base of the unit. Okay, so everything's assembled and powered up. So we have lights, we have the camera, and using the remote control, we can have our action. So the remote control has three functions. You have on off, you can switch the rotation direction between clockwise and anti-clockwise. And you can also adjust the speed of the rotating arm. And again, with the LEDs, we can change the color of the LED strip to set the mood. Just to show you how to install a power bank into this, unfortunately we do not supply a power bank with the product, so you'll need to use your own here. So we have this small clamp at the back here, the power bank will just slide into place quite securely. And using the USB attachment from the ring light, we can just pop that into the power bank. Okay. So the ring light here has its own remote control attached to the wiring, so we'll just pop that on and you'll see we have four buttons here. We have power, mode, and then the intensity buttons. So we have three different modes. We have the warm light, the cool light, and the more cool light. <laughs> we have the 10 different brightness levels, so we can adjust this up and down accordingly with the remote.
Let's party. Ah! <laughs>